it's kind of an extension of everything I've done my whole life. I grew up in Letcher County, Kentucky, um, in Whitesburg, and I grew up totally surrounded and immersed in Appalachian music and dance, um, square dance, circle dance, flat footing, clogging, and also, um, you know, banjo tunes and fiddle tunes. So that's how I've always made my living, primarily, honestly, as a musician, and then always doing, you know, dance workshops here and there. Um, but during the pandemic, I, like many artists, was just kind of like at home trying to figure out ways to continue to make some kind of a living. And I got on Instagram more, and I started putting up different classes, ballad classes and banjo classes and flat footing classes. And I think maybe because people were also trying to uh, combat that quarantine weight gain, um, people were really interested in the dance classes. And so I had so many people signing up for just my Zoom classes, I decided that might be something I could take one step further. So I have a little background. I did some contract work for KET in Lexington, uh, designing digital curricula for them. And so I took what I'd learned there. I have a master's degree in education and I took some of those pedag pedagogical ideas and I created this 90s module uh, eight module with 90 video lessons course and i did some facebook ads and i did some free workshops and just started meeting people from the uk from ireland from all over the united states the next thing i knew i had this full class and it's just it's such an amazing ride you have received national attention you were featured in the new york times what has the response been to the academy it's really exceeded my wildest dreams it's it's definitely been the most successful artistic commercial thing I've ever done um, in, you know, almost 30 years now of making albums, playing shows and touring, being in a variety of bands. Um, I think just the potential to reach such a large number of people. I mean, we've all known for a long time what an incredible tool the Internet is. And we've all known, oh, yeah, you can reach people that are outside your immediate circle. But for me, this brought it home in a, in a completely different way. So. I'm going to do another semester, uh, another session in the fall because I coach people through it. I don't just throw it up there and let people take these classes without without my input. And I'm also doing a really cool summer session. Um, that's just six six sessions where we go on sort of like a little virtual field trip. We drive up country roads and I interview fiddlers and banjo players and then I do a little dance class that goes with each tune that we learn. So. Where can people find you? How can they sign up for your classes? Uh, everything is on my website, carlagover.com. And I, you can find me on Instagram. Um, my handle is at Kentucky Carla. With a C, Carla with a C. <laughs> You're going to be dancing for us in just a moment. But first, you are a busy woman. You have a lot of other projects going on right now, including as an author. So give us an overview about the other things that you're working on right now. Um, so things that are near and dear to my heart is, yes, one of my songs is being turned into a children's book. It's called Me and the Red Bird River, and it's about my life experiences with my grandmother in Clay County, Kentucky, outside of Manchester. Um, so that's going to be illustrated by artist Jeff Chapman Crane, and so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm the artistic director for the Cowan Creek Mountain Music School in my hometown, and we are offering a virtual series of workshops this summer. Um, you can also find links to that on my website. So that's a sweet way that we teach. We call it mountain music from the mountains or in the mountains. Usually it's located in the mountains, but this year we're doing it virtually. Um, and so one of my primary overarching purposes is to elevate the conversation about Kentucky and about Appalachia in the national media because you know we have a lot of stereotypes that we have to deal with as Kentuckians and especially as Appalachians and a lot of times the stories that get told about us are by people that aren't even from here and so that's one thing I want to change. All right Carla go over the Appalachian flat footing and clogging academy take it away let's see you dance. Mm -hmm. 